Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we continue the examination of the settings app. We are going to continue learning what are the different settings. So we are going to take a look today at the personalization option within the settings app. So if you go into your settings by the uh, quick actions and click all settings button or start menu and the settings gear you will have personalization that is available here and you will have the first option background background is basically what is your wallpaper everybody talks about the wallpaper i don't know how many times i get asked you know where i get all the beautiful pictures these are themes that are available through the microsoft store so what do we have in here first of all it gives you an idea of what it looks like generally on your screen then you have background here it says slideshow this has different um, options so you can have a picture specific picture you can have a solid color if you don't want to have a picture some people with uh, disability sometimes would like uh, or rather have a solid color because it's easier to see the icons and the text um, and slideshow which is the possibility of having different pictures going around like I have my uh, option is slideshow which means that every few minutes pictures change now what albums for your slideshow so if you choose a slideshow you have the uh, possibility uh, of getting different options here so here I've got desktop background because this is an app that gives me the option but if you browse you can actually go into your pictures and you can actually go and click a specific folder. You can say, well, you know what? I want to have this folder and have this, choose this folder. And this will actually now be the folder with all the pictures that will actually go in my background. You can build a folder with a lot of pictures, beautiful pictures that you want that you get um, everywhere and uh, have your own personal pictures. Maybe you have pictures that you've taken with your phone or maybe with a, a digital camera and you want to actually aggregate all of this and have them as a, a slide show in your background in the wallpaper in the background of Windows. Well, you can all, of course, try that here. Then you have the frequency of change of pictures, one minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and so on. One of the questions that I get asked all the time is, why can I have a background or a wallpaper that moves all the time? Well, a very simple reason. It asks a lot of power, CPU and GPU power, to have something that moves in the background of the full screen. That's why that option is not available. First of all, it will have your computer working much harder and slow down your PC. And also, it uh, will drain your battery from a laptop real fast. So here you choose uh, the frequency to which the pictures will change. One of the frequencies I used a long time was one day, meaning that every day I wake up with a new picture, which is kind of nice. But you can, of course, have this change, um, you know, in the frequency that you like. Here you have shuffle, which means that instead of, for example, if you have 16 pictures, instead of always going in the same order, shuffle will actually choose one uh, picture that at random. So it can pretty much be any pictures that's going to show up on your uh, screen let slideshow run even if i'm on battery power the reason why this stops on battery power is because changing that picture in the background does take a little bit of power so by removing the slideshow option temporarily while you're on the battery it extends your battery life and finally you've got choose a fit different uh, options here fill fit stretch tile center and span these options will be available depending on how the resolution of your screen and the resolution of the pictures that you have so you have fill which will basically fill the screen fit which will be simply fit in a certain size stretch if you have really low resolution pictures will stretch it across the screen but it will look really bad Tile will actually give you a mosaic, if you want, of all the pictures. Uh, center 
which means that it doesn't count on anything about the resolution. It just will put it at the center of the screen. So if the resolution is real small, you have a little square in the middle of your screen. And uh, then you have span, which will uh, kind of stretch horizontally on the different pictures. That's why you need to know your resolution of your screen, because you'll be able to choose the right resolution for your pictures. Small resolution pictures will, if you, you know, ask to stretch or fill the screen will look simply weird or you know very horrible or blurry because you are expanding a small picture into a much bigger size so that's why you want to try to choose you know you honestly you better have bigger resolution pictures in your screen because they will always look right on your computer uh, background so this is the background options and personalization you, of course, will have settings on the right side that you can continue to check out, like high contrast mode and so on. Sync your settings. Uh, these are some of the settings that can sync between Windows 10 machines also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.